Hey, this is Scott. And this is Jay. And this is Scott and Jay show. And it's been a while. Welcome yes. back. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to our two viewers. Yeah, how's it going, eh? Because it feels like we're in the Great White North today. <laughs> it does feel like we're in the Great White North. Oh my North. gosh, it is freezing cold yeah. this summer. Whatever. So, it's Bedlam this weekend. Yes, and, it is. Uh, <clears throat> go Pokes. What, whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> So, unless you be kicking some will you butt today. Um, you know, it's going to be an interesting game with this, as cold as it is. It's be a cold butt kicking. Oh, man. Oh, man. Somebody is going to go home saying, God, I can't believe I sit out in the freaking cold for three hours, got a pneumonia and got a pneumonia. plague and, and the flu. I'll have one coffee and a pneumonia, please. A pneumonia. Pneumonia. So, final score. OSU wins, OSU, OU, not win. Final score, I think it's going to be a low-scoring affair. I like the uh, fact that there's so much uh, ice and stuff. But maybe they got it all cleared off. They, I saw them, I saw this report. Yeah, I'm sure they, they do. Off and the sun's going to be shining on the field for a while. So, I mean, that, that's going to bode well, but... So much boating going on in Stillwater. You At know, it could, be a, Stadium. it could be a low like 26 scoring affair. degrees or something. Low scoring affair for three hours. I'm going to watch it at home. Jay, you're coming over. We'll have a Bedlam watch. Uh, for a little bit. i got to get a Tulsa set today. Of all things, I completely forgot. Trey's got drum lessons today, so I, I'll come over for a little bit. Well, I'll be there with Thick and Finn. Know, to watch the, my team. Can't believe I'm going to miss. What did you miss? Have Diane take it. Yeah, Diane, <laughs> Diane, Diane doesn't drive in Tulsa and Diane didn't drive on ice, so <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah, okay. Just have you missed the lessons. I mean, today would be a good excuse to miss a lesson. You know? So we're going to work all this out for them. <laughs> <coughs> Everybody here on on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're working out on <laughs> nothing like that. So, uh, four apps. This, yeah? I'm not drinking anything because I didn't get anything yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. Four apps that I think you should be aware of mm. for this holiday season to help you plan your parties. Number one is uh, Sign Up Genius helps helps you with uh, trying to assign who's going to bring what for a potluck dinner or something like that. Number two is Evite to help you with uh, setting up your invitations and, and inviting people to your party. Number three is uh, Doodle to help you uh, with a group of people try to determine which uh, date might work out best than another. And then number four is Secret Santa and that helps you with trying to come up with Secret Santa presents for your White elephant things or Secret Santa parties or whatever. Very good. So there you go. Secret Santa, uh, Sign Up Genius, Evite, and Doodle. So Sign Up Genius, um, tell me about a little bit more about that. Sign Up Genius. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, um, sign up a bunch of people and mm -hmm. then it helps you uh, try to determine who's going to bring what. So you might bring potato salad. I might need you to bring Coke. I might need you to bring is it, is it carrots. Only, and is it only for that type of thing? Is there other applications? That you use? No, uh, you could use other applications. Like if you're coming to a meeting and you need people to bring something, uh, it just helps you organize what people bring. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but for the holiday season and this time of year. Uh, people putting together parties, wanting you know, kind of help people know what they want to bring because a lot of times people ask. This kind of helps you organize that. Okay. So does Evite, sort of. But uh, yeah. so here's one that you don't want to download. You don't want to download. Do not download this. Don't one. download this. Uh, nope. No. Plants vs Zombies Two. Plants vs Zombies Two. Yeah. Ooh. That'll. Uh, that is a time suck. That will suck. Ooh. All Although it's a great away. game. It's so much better than Candy Crush. Oh yeah. And you'll sit there and say, holy cow, I can't believe I've been on this for 15 minutes. So, are you in the Western version yet? I am, yeah. yeah so I heard they're coming out with a space version. It looks like they're going to come out with a space version, because that's the, uh, 
the way the progression looks. Um, so there's a, a blank space next um, to. Oh, no, he's going to try to give us a screenshot. He's going to try to give us the, the horrible screenshot. Uh, let's go out to the stars. So. Horrible screenshot. There's the Wild West from 1738. Oh. Ooh, what's out there? Ooh, looks like space. Ah. So there you go. Um, and the Dave's last thing. just trying to get the taco. That's all he's trying to do. That's all he's trying to do. Just trying to get the taco. I really don't understand that. But I don't I don't either. But it's it's the, so it's random. It is. It's been a long time since we've been here at Starbucks uh, Studios. They've redesigned the, our studio here, and it's really nice. Yeah, I went back and watched uh, a lot of old videos, old Scott and Jay shows, um, just because I was seeing how ballooned up I was. Yeah, speaking of ballooned up, this is your one-year anniversary. One year anniversary week. So you yeah. started off, uh, one year this week, you started off on this uh, gigantic, no pun intended. Hey, I, okay, I was big, I get it. <laughs> on this... Uh, momentous or huge uh, challenge yes. to lose some weight. Did you have any idea how much weight you were going to lose in a year's time? You know, I knew I was going to lose a little bit, but I, I really didn't know how much I was going to lose. So, <laughs> Man, here Look it comes. At that. My goodness. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh, we walk on moly. Yeah. I mean, look, even my arms are... Right. Even Jay's pretty big in that picture. Oh. No. That, that was not right. That, sorry, Mike, too, but... <laughs> Um, no, that we're all. It's all about Jay here. You know, it's funny because uh, at the beginning of the year we were doing uh, the donations to uh, Goodwill or, or whatever, and, and uh, so I was going through my closet and saying, "Okay, what can I wear? What can I not wear?" I'm, I'm going to lose some weight, but I really don't think I'm ever going to wear two XL again. And so I gave a lot of my two XL shirts away, which this summer I was scrambling buying extra large shirts, which is good. Good. But during the meantime, I was like going from three and four X down to I couldn't get anything else. I mean, I, I was trying to get two X shirts, but I thought, well, if I'm going to continue to lose weight, I'll just hold off. And so I went from really big shirts like this shirt that's underneath here. Uh, yeah, I could use it for for uh, parasailing if I needed to. Oh yeah. Um, so you've got even that going a, for you. Even the sweatshirt is, is like super cute. It's two yeah. XL. So you went and started off at how much? Um, officially, I started off at three hundred five. And you're at oh, I'm at roll, please two twenty one. Dang, yeah. that is a reduction of eighty four pounds in one year. Congratulations. Thank you. And, you know, it, I got sidetracked a little bit with my uh, last hip surgery uh, just because, you know, I was on a roll, I was working out every day, and then I had the surgery, and so that kind of threw the, um, the workout a bit for a, a toss, and so um, that, that's been a struggle to get back into. I'm still doing it. Um, not like yesterday, I was supposed to work out. But our gym is closed at work, oh. and um, oh, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't so, let excuses get in the way. So I was going to go meet with uh, Olaf. No, not yet. Uh, I was going to go meet with my trainer at the high school. No, oh. um, he's the strength and conditioning coach at the high school. So I was going to work out with him there. But his school was closed. No. Gym closed. School closed. What do we got to do to get Jay on track, ladies and gentlemen? So, you know, I had to do set-ups at home and push-ups at home, which, you know, it, they're okay. The one, and I made the mistake uh, during during one of my workouts telling my trainer, you know, there's one where I, I take dumbbells and I'm lifting them up over my head. That, for me, is like the hardest thing of them all. And I, I made the mistake one time of saying, God, I hate these. And it was like, oh no, I didn't just say that. And guess what I do every single time I'm with him is so you hate it. Yeah, I, I do those. Okay, there's your point. Well, Don't ever tell your trainer you hate something. Oh, because he'll kill you. He'll just kill you with it. So, uh, <clears throat> well, congratulations. So, cheers. Two twenty-four. Is that what you said? Two twenty-one. 221. Yeah, don't, don't add the weight. No. 
Don't you put that weight on me. No. So, Don't you put that weight on me. <laughs> so, uh, hey, that's just uh, pretty remarkable. So, yeah. if anybody wants to know how you did it, uh, just get in touch with Jay Stump on Nancy Facebook. Gillen is another good resource. Nancy Gillen is a good resource. Yes. And so, um, you know, seeing your phone there with your camera turned on, I don't know if you intentionally did that, but uh, one awesome app that Scott introduced me to yesterday, or last Thank week. Thank you. Uh, Scott introduced me to last week, Americano. Americano. Can I get a dang Americano over here? God, service these days. Service. Um, is an app yeah, called big face. Bubbly. Bubbly is a bubbly, great app. Amazing app that uh, takes a 360 bubble picture of where you are. Um, so I had the opportunity to go to um, see the Tulsa uh, Golden Hurricane play last week, and I took a picture of oh yeah of our seats. And so there's the picture of our seat. And oh yeah, is this the horrible screenshot again? Oh, yeah. and it's a 360. Yeah, there's nobody when I there, say 360, game. it's this is Dewey was, this high was, school game. This was the very beginning. You go not all around like that, but up and down. You can even see the sun or see the see see what there's that. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. So bubbly, B U B B L I. Um, it's Coming great. to an app store near you. But get out on your iPhone. You'll love it. It's great for scenery shots, but yeah. not so much close-up shots. Right. Unless you're really, really good. Yeah, it's good for tourism, for touristy type shots. If you want to give someone an idea of what's all around you, 360 degrees. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, we're 12, we're 12 minutes into this. That just goes by too fast. Yeah, it's almost like playing Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> All right, well, um, you know, when you were playing Plants vs. Oh, Christmas is coming up. Yeah, yeah. we all know that. Uh, you were playing Plants vs. Zombies, and that one level, were, what happened there where it was like, you, you said... I, I just, I, it was one of those where I was almost complete with this whole set, and so I sat there and I started...